furries. How do you feel about furries? Some people love them. Some people hate them. Some people are scared of them. And furries, they all love each other. And they love gathering together, too. And it was this one convention from 2007 to 2015 called Rainforest. And furries all gathered around to have a good time. And everything went well for several years to 2015, where everything changed. About nine years, if I'm correct. Yeah, but I said several. You know, the expression several. No, I'm not, I'm not like disputing that. I'm just saying <laughs> it was nine years, which is crazy to me because I thought that it, it had only gone, it, it had only like been hosted once and then they messed it up. Um, it's really surprising to me that they, that they really went on for like nine whole years starting in 2007. It's crazy. It's crazy to me. In the last video, we talked about DashCon and how it was the people that was running the convention that ruined the convention. But this time, it's the attendees who ruined the convention. Yeah, DashCon was a disaster um, orchestrated by the organizers. Rain Forest was a disaster orchestrated by the attendees. This is a Project X of conventions. Nah, from, Project X was, was, I don't know about Project X. From diapers on cars <laughs> to flood in the venue to regular assault to sexual assault to the attendees getting arrested from people doing drugs and a lot of other things. And today we're on the Remembering series, Remembering Rainforest, and we'll be talking about this convention. So we'll be talking about what led up to the convention, the convention, and after the convention. Rainforest started in 2007, and it was made after the absence of this other furry convention called Confer Northwest. And the first year they had it, it had 370 attendees. So it started off small, but with a modest number but then throughout the years it has grown larger and larger and larger in 2014 it had 2586 attendees and that was the last year the convention went well to the infamous 2015 where they had 2704 furry attendees and guests and rainforest 2015 was a four-day event held in september 24th through September 28th in Seattle in the Hilton Hotel. Everything was going well at first till nighttime came. And that's when the attendees got lit. And everything started going that downhill after that for the next few days. <laughs> Apparently the full extent of what occurred during that time came out in small chunks. The first of which appears to be a letter to attendees from the Rainforest board that was posted on Reddit. While the letter begins by mentioning many of the good things that occurred at the convention, it includes a list of problems identified by the Rainforest board that occurred at the hotel. Uh, a couple of these are, and it says, for the last few the Hilton sustained more damage during Rainforest than it did from every other event at the Hilton the entire rest of the year. This doesn't even include damage to guest rooms or other incidental wear and tear like the elevator. This year's incidents include two plumber calls, a flooded bathroom that soaked the offices underneath. Uh, what was that? They, they, they stuffed diapers into the toilets? That's what that was? Yeah. Towels that they stuffed into a hot tub pump and multiple petty vandalisms and thefts. A final damage report is still being compiled. Um, I know that they 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 ended up um, putting used diapers. Somebody put used diapers on on the hoods of cars in the parking lots. And apparently, they had to send three people to the hospital and call the police twice. By Sunday morning. The hotel was so exasperated th that they were threatening to evict attendees for single notice complaints. For single noise complaints, my bad. Uh, that wasn't all though. Hilton's headquarters sent a letter to the organizers of Rainforest 
that included a long list of complaints. A um, couple of the notable ones I can see here. Are two at attendee drug overdoses that qu required medical response and hospitalization for both attendees. Okay, so that's the ah. hospital. Over 2,000 spent nitrous oxide or NOS cartridges which are used as an illegal inhalant were found discarded in a guest corridor after the group checked out. There was a, also a drug arrest in the adjacent parking lot of mm -hmm. a that police believe had ties to the Rainforest group, which I, I guess just means that they probably had on like a, like a fursuit or something. And apparently a Rainforest a volunteer staff member was reported to have sexually assaulted a female attendee he, he was charged by the responding sheriff. Um, a guest room smoke detector was tampered with and discarded in a guest corridor. An elevator inner door cable was broken by an attendee trying to force the door open. A uh, rainforest security staff member was seen using, you know, the, um, uh, you know, herb, uh, the, you know, the green devil's lettuce. <laughs> uh, Hilton apparently received a phone call and a follow-up email from an individual, an attendee complaining about rampant drug use and alcohol consumption that was allowed, supposedly, by Rainforest staff. To think of all that. So yeah, the furries, they get a little too lit. I don't know what happened this year where they just wanted to go all out this year when all other years it seemed like everything went well. They get down and dirty, Eli, just like you. They do get down and dirty because people that know about fur furries, they they hear like what they do. And a lot of people like think about furries and think about, you know, what people think what furries be doing. They are sex deviants. They just, you know, get crazy, get nasty yup yup all that type of stuff if you're a furry confirm down below and if you was at reinforce confirm down below like uh, anyone that's ever been to a furry convention this is not how a furry convention acts right and this probably gave furries a bad name throughout the whole entire rest of the area yeah but it did like you just imagine you're going to a con for fun you're like oh my god the, this is the, finally you know i'm a furry um you know you haven't really gone to a con before but like you feel like this is your calling or whatever you're like you're like so excited and then all this stuff happens some people and, probably stop being furries after this yeah i mean shoot i would i i don't I, like if i was a kid furry and my mom heard about all the stuff that happened in this convention she would never let me go to a furry convention ever again <laughs> like geez imagine being attendees that's not a part of the convention and no, imagine being hotel guests. That's not a part of the convention. They're just staying there for the hotel and yeah. seeing all this craziness. Did go on for nine years, like I said, though, um, from 2007 all the way up to 2015. Uh, but given all this evidence, uh, it would seem like the number one problem that got them shut down was that drug use by the attendees. Drugs was the major problem you know, at that final 2015 convention. Um, residents of Washington State had approved the use of recreational, you know, green in 2012. Uh, the first recreational stores in Washington happened to open in 2014. Uh, however, that that didn't mean that hotels like the Hilton where the convention was being held at uh, permitted the use of, of the substance at those locations. Uh, so the attendees just ignored that prohibition that was put in place by the hotel and used the drug anyway. And, you know, of course, all the other, like, you know, the NOS cartridges and, and the other, other stuff that they were doing in there. So, you know, it really, um, it really boiled down to them just, you know, using the, the drugs and all that. I have uh, the common sense. Yeah. 
there is debate though as to whether or not they all truly like understood that the drugs couldn't be used at the hotel uh there is a link to the rainforest 2015 code of conduct there however is actually no mention of drugs in the code of conduct at all but there is a reference to following the hotel's rules and policies which of course prohibits um you know the drug use so you know I, I, I guess it's just a case of, of willful ignorance uh, it yeah the code of conduct in the hotel no the hotel's rules and policy says as a convention attendee you are guest of the hotel and must abide by the hotel's rules and policies whenever you are on the premises and like I said they do prohibit at the time anyway they did prohibit the use of the substances so, so some of them it seemed like they just wanted to cause trouble just to cause trouble because they messed up the hot tub thing by putting towels in there so yeah that pretty dangerous and then like, like let's, let's not forget that smoke detector that they uh that the, took apart uh yeah that was really dangerous then the flooding of the bathroom yeah it seemed like there was like generally just a lack of security overall given the vandalism that happened in the hotel uh, so yeah all that in combination with each other seriously damaged uh, rainforest's reputation as well as i would say the reputation of uh you know furries in general and probably probably the hotel as well because you know regular guests that was there they probably would never stay at that hotel again saying this is what you allow at this hotel yeah yeah um i don't i don't think i don't think that the whole that the whole idea of the fur community was to blame you know it was probably just like a small handful of the attendees that you know that vandalized that you know used the drugs and all that but it definitely was enough to uh hurt not only the convention but the you know the furry community as well and then some of them was wearing diapers and some of them had the diapers used as well while they was wearing it this thing that they call that they like to uh that they like to do called crinkling where they they use the diet like the, you know they go in the diapers and then they they, they kind of just walk around like And it's just the grossest thing. Furry yeah. is gross. Yeah, then throwing diapers on the uh, cars and stuff too. Or regular people that like to crinkle, but there aren't like crinkling conventions, I don't think. So, you know. Convention ended. They wanted to host another convention in 2016. And you explained to them why that wasn't going to happen. Who, me? Oh, I'll explain it if you... <laughs> so, Hilton. Hilton would not hold another convention uh, for the furries in 2016. They refused to do it after. I mean, understandably why, after everything that's happened. And then they tried to get other places uh, to stay, uh, try to get another venue, but hotels talk. So he'll then talk to uh, the other people. So no hotel would book them because they just all talk like, no, 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 no. We heard about what happened to you in uh, 2015. We're not about to host you. I think they, this is all in Seattle. They couldn't get no hotel in Seattle. Then they found one hotel, but then that hotel got a letter from someone. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the other hotels in the vicinity were, were warned never talked about in that letter and you're pretty much the only person who could have known that uh yeah i in my heart of hearts i know who it is it means more of an opportunity around and it pisses me off by someone there is speculation that there was a group or or one single person that like sabotaged the hotel not the hotel the convention yeah one of the people that's uh talking about what happened at reinforce is that uh, started Rainforest or uh, runs a part of it. It, he, it seems like he says he knows who it is, but he's not allowed to say who it is. But it's yeah, like, like it uh, is kind of look around, you can figure out who it is. 
yeah, it is kind of suspicious, like in my opinion. It had gone on perfectly well for like nine whole years, and then it chooses the you know just the that one 2015 convention to get just like all go like so wrong. Yeah. Apparently, the diaper person is the same person that's uh, sending letters to other hotels, so they won't uh, book them. So the person that threw the diapers on cars is apparently the same person. That's right. I would I would say supposedly like I wouldn't put claims like that out there personally. There there's speculation that they're the same person, but like nobody really knows, not yet anyway. And then the people that do know, they're not want to say. It seems. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it seems like it's a, it was a ploy as well. Like it was a re- re- revenge plot for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. The whole the whole situation was just really weird. Yeah, yeah then after that, they couldn't get a, a venue in the whole entire Seattle area. Because it was either the hotels talking, or this person was sending letters to all the hotels. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, you know, if, if, I, if I owned and operated a hotel, I, you know, given everything that did happen at 2015 Rainforest, I wouldn't you know, regardless, I, I I wouldn't let I wouldn't host I wouldn't let uh, Rainforest be hosted at mine at my uh, you know at my location. It's just it's not happening. It's not happening. So then, after they couldn't find the place, they just ended up deciding to cancel the uh, con for the 2016, and then they ended up just canceling them all together, and that was the end of Rainforest. Yeah, I guess, I guess kind of sadly, you know, good thing I'm not a furry. I don't really care. Several years of doing good and it all just ended one year, four days. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a tragedy. Definitely a tragedy. And that convention isn't going on anymore, but the reputation of what happened at that convention is going to go on forever. And yeah, the furries already had like a kind of bad reputation from before. And then that add it to it yeah here we are in 2020 still no word of rainforest 2021 so i i guess it's safe to say rainforest is dead holla you know what i'm saying yeah celebrate or not i mean uh, at least those people had fun i guess i mean not the ones that got arrested i got sent to the hospital yeah, I, I guess. I, <laughs> Any closing thoughts? Um. Uh, closing thoughts. Um. Well, I guess. Kind of sad, you know. It's hilarious, but it's it's kind of sad in a way. Uh, like I said earlier, like imagine you're a furry. You go to your first con ever, and it just ends up being. Rain first, <laughs> 2015. It'd be it'd be so so weird. Yeah, but it least... probably was only a handful of people that caused all that whole entire mess because they had 2,700 people. Obviously, not all of them caused that. It was probably like a dozen people that. Yeah, but I mean, at least you'd be able to say, "Oh shoot, I was at uh, Rain First, 2015. I'd kill to be in one of these like uh, events, personally." <laughs> well, hopefully they had fun. I uh, hopefully, man. That's the last bit of rainforest fun we'll ever get to see for the uh, time being. The well, I mean, there's, all, there's all the furry conventions. They seem like they go well. Yeah, not rainforest. But yeah, if you ever been to a furry convention and. Eh. You thought it was kind of lit? Just let us know down below. We've never been to a furry convention. We've seen furries at regular conventions, but never been to a furry convention. We might go to a furry convention. Might do an update video. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have to say. Peace out. Till next time. Stay tuned for um, <clears throat> Bella Delphine. Episode three. <laughs>